Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I want to talk about a problem that probably a lot of people have, but there's there's some documentation online, but it's sort of like a, a mysterious thing you might encounter with your NES, which is a, a weird kind of interference. You can see it pretty clearly here, these wavy lines that are coming across the screen. So after reading up online, I found some information about this for me this is something that gradually I started noticing I noticed for a while that if I sort of tapped the power button a little bit after turning the system on I could make it go away I that it's gotten worse over time so you can see it clearly here uh, maybe you've seen this on your NES and maybe uh, you've read online like I have about uh, replacing capacitors now, the the ones that you need to replace when you have um, power interference like this are not really easy to get to, and you know if you're not great at soldering, jumping into that is is a little daunting. I read online that a lot of people said you know try different AC adapters. You can actually try a Genesis adapter because it gives it's a DC but it's 9 volts which is what the NES wants so you could use that and you might see different results for me if I do that I still get interference but it's not it just looks a slightly different but I still get interference so I wanted to share with everyone what I found to be a pretty good fix at least for now probably I need to replace the capacitors on you know, the, the NES, uh, all, probably all of them should be replaced, you know, at some point. I mean, capacitors go bad, but for now, you know, before I buy a new soldering iron and stuff to do the job right, I thought I would try a brand new AC adapter. So this is a Retrobit product, Retroversal, got it from Bros. Um, and yeah, for NES, SNES, and Genesis 1. So... Uh, you know, I mean, hey, I've got a Genesis and stuff. I figured why not um, take the plunge at 10 bucks. So uh, I have tried it and it does have an improved result and I'm going to share that with you guys right now. So uh, let me show you the difference. All right, guys. So I swapped the adapter and actually, I guess I'll show you really quick. So this, the adapter has a, so it has two ends. You know, so like one for the SNES and one for the Genesis and NES. So I'm plugging that in in the dark back here. And yeah, so the the difference is 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 great. Um, it's so it's playable and everything now. It's not annoying because as you might imagine, that was really annoying. So here we go. Check this out. So there you go. Obviously, there's no lines here. We'll get some gameplay going on, too. But, yeah, so the blinking there, you see, that's just refresh clashing or whatever from my my phone taking the video. Um, but, yeah, so there you go. No more of that business, the crazy wavy lines. And I'll tell you guys, I tried, for whatever reason, I have a bunch of different NES adapters, and I tried a couple Genesis adapters as well, and they all had it. Uh, you can't see uh, when you have with the naked eye you can actually still see there's a slight amount of interference You can't see it in the video right here, but I mean truth be told I do need to change those caps It's something that everybody who's you know trying to keep an NES for a long time should probably do But I mean this just means you know why not have a fresher adapter a better uh, adapter that's in better condition anyway and I mean at least I can wait in the meantime while I'm waiting to get a new solder setup, soldering setup, and maybe <laughs> practice a little bit. Um, in the meantime, I can still play my NES and and not have to stare at wavy lines because it was made. It was so that was so bad I wasn't even playing. So, anyways, I hope this video is useful to somebody. Yeah, guys, if you're having this problem, before you order a cap kit, before you go taking your NES apart, try this new adapter and see if you get better results. And uh, by the way, I'll also mention that I'm using the AV, not um, RF for this so just so you guys know so there you go thanks for watching and i hope that was useful or enjoyable or both and we'll see you next time thanks